In this video, we're going to work out this integral. So we're going to make a u substitution. So if it was just cosine x, you could think backwards and do it. You can probably still think backwards and do it in this case, but whenever it's cosine of something besides x, you typically want to make a u substitution. So we'll start by letting u be equal to the inside piece. In this case, it's what's inside the trig function. So u equals 3x. So now we compute du. So the derivative of u is simply du. And here we just get 3 dx, so 3 dx. Okay, so now the goal is always to make whatever you get here look like whatever is here. So here, there is no 3. Here, there is a 3. So we have to get rid of the 3. Since it's being multiplied by 3, what we'll do is we'll divide by 3. So I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3. These cancel, so we get 1 third du equals dx. So now we're here. So now we can go ahead and make the substitution, and this is often the hardest step for many people. So the dx is one-third du. So this will be one-third integral du. So all we've replaced at this point is merely the dx. Then we're left with cosine of u. So we have cosine of u. Now we can integrate this using our minds. So we're integrating cosine. So the question is, what is a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is equal to cosine. So when you integrate cosine, you get the sine function. So we have sine of u plus our constant, capital C. But u was equal to 3x. So now we plug that back in. So 1 third sine 3x plus capital C. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.